This is a rather exciting monument on embankment. This is a statue celebrating the Imperial Camel Corps, who were a very interesting aspect of the British Army. It consisted of Indian, Australian, New Zealand, and English soldiers who rode camels during the First World War. The Camel Corps first operated in Western Egypt, close to modern day Libya, fighting the Senussi. This was a tribal group who were being armed by the Ottoman Empire, who were smuggling weapons across the Mediterranean using Austro Hungarian submarines. So it was a very exciting first trial by fire. Once the Senussi surrendered, the Camel Corps moved into the Sinai, where they moved up into Palestine and the Transjordan. And those members of the Camel Corps who were fighting in the Transjordan were fighting alongside the forces of the Sheriff Hussein of Mecca, Bedouin irregulars and British specialists, including, quite famously now, T.E. Lawrence or Lawrence of Arabia. They took part in the Hejaz War, attacking Ottoman railway stations and railway lines as a way to cripple the Ottoman rear. One of the most exciting engagements of the Hejaz War was fought here at Madaura, where the Imperial Camel Corps fought alongside Bedouin irregulars to attack the railway station at Madaura. It was a rather fraught fight that was only ended with the help of the RAF coming in and dropping bombs on the Turkish positions, after which Camel Corps and Bedouin irregulars stormed the railway station and turned the German guns on the Turks themselves, forcing their surrender. But it was not an entirely bloodless battle. Many British soldiers were injured and they set up a forward aid station at a nearby ruin, a ruin that members of the Camel Corps thought was a Roman temple. It was in actual fact a Ottoman fortress called Kalat al Madawra. Khalid Amadawara is an Ottoman fortress which I actually visited in 2022 and I'm going back later this year or early next year to take part in yet another excavation. So it's a rather exciting way that this monument here on embankment ties not only into the history of Jordan, of the Middle East in general, but also ties directly into my PhD research as well. So it's all terrifically exciting.